So then guys, with the rollout of M4 on most of Apple's products now, everyone's looking towards the M5 products. And one specific product we're all looking forward to is the update on the Mac Mini. What kind of updates are we gonna get on this? And obviously, are we gonna get an M5 and an M5 Pro put inside of it? Well, today we're gonna discuss all of this and everything that we know so far. But quickly, just a quick history lesson of where we are with the Mac Mini. So at the end of 2024, the Mac Mini design got updated for the first time in around about, say, about 15 years or so. We've had the same old Mac Mini design for all that time, or it's quite a flat kind of biggish kind of design, I would say, compared to the new Mac Mini. But we got the brand new design finally out like this, and essentially it does look like a mini version of, say, the Mac Studio. It's really, really lightweight, and also it's fantastic with the availability of ports, and of course, its value. The M4 model starts at 599 US dollars, and that actually gives you the 10 core CPU and the 10 core GPU option, and also 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Or you can also go for the M4 Pro version, and that starts at a little bit more, 1,399 US dollars, but that does give you in exchange 24 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. And both of these have been super successful in selling from Apple. And one of the main reasons for it is, like I said, is the design and also the ports that are available on this. So for example, on the rear of the Mac Mini, we actually have the Ethernet port, a HDMI port, and we also have three USB ports on the back. Now, depending on your configuration, what you've gone for, if you've gone for M4, three of those ports on the back are going to be actually Thunderbolt 4, but if you went for M4 Pro, they're actually Thunderbolt 5. But the two ports at the very front of the Mac Mini, well, they're just USB-C, but they still go up to 10 gigabits at USB free speeds, so what's really, really awesome. I think the only one major downside that most people think about the Mac Mini is the power button that is actually located underneath it, so you do have to lift it up to turn it on and turn it off, but to be honest, it's quite lightweight, and there's also a few little mods out there also to help you out with this. But the big question is, if we do get an M5 and an M5 Pro put inside of this Mac Mini, how more powerful will they be and what kind of cores are we expecting to see inside of them? Well, do remember with the M4, we did get that upgrade to 10 core CPU. So it's more likely that if we do get an M5, we won't, won't actually get, say, more CPU cores. We're probably more likely, if anything, to get more GPU cores. We've now actually had 10 GPU cores now inside of a sort of baseline M sort of chip for a good number of rounds now, as it were. I think it was the M2, the M3. They both had 10 GPU cores. So this is probably likely to be up to 12 cores instead. The CPU probably won't stay, um, will get any more cores as it were. But there again with the M5 Pro, more likely that we're gonna see there is probably an upage in say the cores that we might get. We may actually get say an extra two cores all around, probably most likely in performance cores and then also GPU cores we may gain an extra two cores there so obviously the baseline version instead of being 16 core GPU it could actually be an 18 core GPU but obviously we're gonna have to get more leaks and rumors and to confirm this and then the other thing as well it's unlikely that the base amount of RAM is gonna go up because Apple just did this very recently so most likely with the M5 it'll still be 16 gigabytes of RAM and then also 24 gigabytes of RAM for the M5 Pro baseline version so just be aware of that but then the other a question might be to do with storage. I think this is the next thing that Apple needs to improve on now is the base amount of storage inside of their devices. I'm really hoping that Apple decides to finally give us half a terabyte, 512 gigabytes in their sort of baseline models going forwards. And then obviously things like say the M4 Pro or the M5 Pro I should say, though that would actually get one terabyte as the baseline amount of storage. Cause this would just make more sense to fall in line with kind of technology and other kind of mini PCs out there right now. But the next thing that you guys might be asking about is what about, say, the actual release date? And will we actually get the M5 and M5 Pro inside of this Mac Mini? Well, I'll tell you all about that after I quickly tell you about today's giveaway. And funny enough, it is for an M4 Pro Mac Mini. Mini. So right here I have an M4 Pro Mac Mini with 24 gigabytes of RAM inside of it and it's also got 512 gigabytes of storage. Like I said it is the M4 Pro, it's the baseline version of it, but I am giving
giving this away in literally half a month from now. I'm giving it away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And you can still enter into this giveaway right now. All you have to do is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get in 2025. Maybe it is going to be yourself a new Mac Mini. Maybe it's going to be one of those new MacBook Airs that have just come out. Or maybe it's going to be something to do nothing to do with, you know, Apple whatsoever. It could be, say, the new Nintendo Switch 2, a DJI drone, for example. Well, let me know in the comments below. And the other thing what I was going to say to you guys is obviously the second part of this giveaway is going to be happening near the end of this month, where I'll be making a video telling you guys, you know, uh, more details about it, including including a form to fill in too, and plus, most importantly, the actual live stream date when I'm going to actually give away this Mac Mini to one lucky person. And you won't want to miss out on that video. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonate me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people. Best six you right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this, what about the release date? And are we even going to get the M5 inside of the Mac Mini? Now, what we've got to remember is that we did get an M1 Mac Mini. We got an M2 series of Mac Mini and the M2 Pro, but we completely missed out the M3 altogether. And to be honest, we had something very similar what happened with the iMac, where we had the M1 iMac. We had no M2, but we've had M3 and we've had M4. So it's a little bit up in the air exactly if we're going to get it or not. Now, personally, I'm kind of a sort of a 30%, 70% split. So I think 70% chance we're probably going to get the M5 inside the Mac Mini because it's been such a hit. But then there's also a chance we might not get it at all. Apple could completely skip this out. But the good news is we have seen here from this leak right here, it says that the production of the M5, the M5 Pro, the M5 Max has started production. So this is likely that this is going to be coming before the end of this year. And then the other thing is we've had this other leak here was kind of told us the order of when we're actually going to get the Macs to be updated. And it's been telling us here that it's, if it is going to be an update to the Mac Mini, it's probably going to be very similar to what we had in 2024. When we had the MacBooks updated, more than likely the Mac Mini will be updated at the same time. So at the moment, the kind of target time for release time, if we do get an M5, an M5 Pro inside, will be the end of this year. So around about November, beginning of November, or it could actually sort of go into the early part of 2026, maybe January or February time. But as we get closer and closer to those dates, obviously more leaks and rumors will come in for the new Mac Mini M5 and M5 Pro. And of course, I'll be letting you guys know all about that. Now, the other thing is to do with price. More than likely, because Apple have just introduced these new models at these prices, they're not going to increase them anytime soon. So the M5 base model is most likely going to stay exactly the same price at 599 US dollars and then say the M5 Pro that does come available in it will start at 1399 US dollars again but the second that you start optioning up for more RAM and more storage obviously the price can get quite high with that so we've just got to be aware of that but really guys that is the latest and greatest we know about the Mac Mini M5 are you going to be guessing one if Apple do make this well let me know in the comments below and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up the video too so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.